Chris and Bridge Jackson this morning. Really not much to the bridge. You just hold that left hand pier. Eh, 15, 10, 15 foot off of it and whistle down through there. But the only set you get is what you steer. You steer slide into it. That's really the only problem with this one. If you steer anything into it, it's not that bad. Get your speed up. Hug them reds down through there and hold that left hand pier. Hold it pretty close. Make sure you got your best man that can call distance and width off that thing and put him on that left hand corner. And whistle down through it. The only, like I said, the only problems that you have on this one is if you, what you steer into it. Uh, or you, if you get out wide and try to come back at it, you can get out there and be in a bind. But basically it's uh, pretty easy. Go real good there, Jake. Hey, you have saving on down. Okay, thanks, sir. Hopefully she'll work good for it. We got Danny fixing to pick up the call here shortly. More, more water, sir. Yeah, water out here. Yeah. 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 Roger. I'm getting 30 feet over here. And then we'll hold that pier and just keep it. Hey, sorry, 15 watts, 15 watts. And I'm running another 1,000 feet, 1,000 feet above. He'll just hold that. I'll hold that 15 feet. I like to say 10, 15 feet. Keep it in there tight on that left hand pier. Yeah, I guess you hold that 15 wide, right up on that 850 above tip. See, just hold it right in there. And like I said, you really the only problem you have. Very slow, right here, 12 wide, 12 feet wide, right up on that. Tell me it's hard to compress. This is what you steer into it. It's hard to compress. I hear 12 wide. 11 wide, falling in real slow. I hold that. And I, I hear 10 wide, 10 feet wide, and it's hard to hold. And we're up on there 450, 450 now, above. See, so you kind of got a little bit of a little steer around below. Oh, right here. Hey, 10 and a half wide. And we're up on there 350, 350, above. But I've got no Starting bed. wide back out real slow right here. Hey, I hear 12 wide, 12 wide, 250 now, come first. Pull her back around a little bit to it, pull through the pier. Start to start closing very slow out here, left wide. And see, I've got here, wide, right running our 150, 150 now, come Oh, now here, 10 wide. At this point, I've pretty much got her made. I've got her. Now, come back. Hold 10 wide. I've got her made. Hold now here. 10 wide, start closing real slow out here, 9 and a half, 25 now, come back. Oh, I got her, Danny. Good job. Y'all come on back. You see? See how that's done? We're doing it here for insurance purposes, huh? <laughs> hey, man. Y'all look pretty out there. <laughs> and see, now that I've got stern room, I've got all this room over here to play with. And I can kind of pull her back straight and just let her hang. You know, she's not going to. Not gonna do too much. Uh, like I said, most of the time guys get into the bridge over here, it's you steer and slide into it. Either they come out wide or, or uh, to be honest with you, I really don't know. Um, I do it the same if it's running water, if it's not swift current, whatever. I try to run it the same way all the time. I might hold that pier a little bit more, uh, just depending on how it's acting, but um, Really not much to it. Carry your headway and cool her off a little bit now. We're not trying to run that hard, but see we run right down through there. That's how you do that. Look at say I do I run it the same all the time. Run it the same all the time. Uh, appreciate there, Crescent Bridge. We're all just about off there. Alright, Brittany. And that's done. On down to the fleet. Right where I need to back in. Waiting a lot. We ain't got no choice on the matter. We just had to get over it. I ain't backing in no docks or nothing. It says no tow boats. So I'm gonna drop down about a hundred feet below. <laughs> well, we didn't. Uh, we didn't get first place in the time trials, so we're not in a pole position. Jerry Jarrett's in the pole position, but we'd be racing second. 
in third. We got another one back there coming in behind. They open the river back up, the race is on though. It's a beautiful boat. We got this up here looking really nice. Really nice. Yeah. Shining up. The Brittany Lee. Brittany Lee looking pretty. Looking real pretty, y'all. She's a doll. She's a doll. That woodwork. Beautiful. Pretty, pretty day. Pretty day. We're just making her move down to the lock. Oh, it's just perfect weather. Man, it's perfect weather. Yeah. It is beautiful out here. Just taking an easy stroll down to the next spot. Down here, catch a wire. We still got, I think, four or five boats ahead of us, but we're just getting no closer to the lock. Get the Prosperity coming in. He's going to take our spot there. We get a view from up top. It is really pretty out. Really pretty out. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Headed down on Church Creek. Gig. We're gonna run down here and back in here at church or uh, Sandy Creek. We still got one, two, or three, four boats ahead of us. Another day. Shiny, shiny bright, shiny bright. My God, hurt my eyes. It's so bright. Pretty, pretty. Here's a video of the moon, man. The moon over Lock 25, right before they turn me loose. Beautiful, beautiful night. So Brittany shining up, looking pretty. It looks pretty tonight. Pretty, pretty. Alright. Had to do that. I'm all stop. I had to get a picture. <laughs> Here we go. Shove in our second half. Make up, head south. I'm just gonna watch. Check this out. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> the arch. The perfect time. We are headed up here to go get our empty. up here and then we're headed north. We are fueling, getting ready to head on into the great north. your economy fuel flat on the chubb morris see i got a chubb y'all do what why they got everything to be about you <laughs> your fucking video fuck that one up
Well, he's dredging here below 16, but I sure didn't see no shallow water when I come out of here. I would much rather have them up there by uh, above the butte in that uh, 11 pool. There's a lot more places they can dig up there. Single lock and the rest of the way up. We had knock, knockout single with this old narrow girl. Knockout single uh, till we get up there to the butte. And then we'll be a straight single after that. The trip's getting easier and easier as the days go by. Man, what I got? Another two weeks left, something like that. I might make it. I might. Odds are I might. I don't know what the betting odds are downstairs in the deck locker, but I think I'll make it. All right, core engineers, I need that for a party barge. Look at that. Dance floor. Shoot. Have a cookout. That's what I need. Somebody with a core get hold of me. See how I can get that bad boy rented. We need that. That's <laughs> We need to see if we can't get that thing rented out for the weekend. Yeah, yeah. I want to make a daiquiri bar or something like that. I want <laughs> the, that's what we name it, the daiquiri one. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, there's a moonlight. in here at the bank <clears throat> waiting on uh that girl right there that is the american queen making her approach to 14 and now we're down here down here waiting I think Captain Bert's on. Uh, you were just shoved in the bank. I think Captain Bert's on. I'll find out here a little bit. See if I can talk to him. Find something to eat. Yeah. I think a little tear of the bread. Maybe. She's a beautiful boat. Beautiful boat. This little deck. This is part of the deck they added on. Electronics are on. She really is pretty. It's officer's lounge, second deck lounge, rarely used. <laughs> yeah, that's a horrible one. Mm, that's kind of neat. Kind of neat. They got to look like a group of school kids out. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, probably, probably didn't wake nobody up. It's early. Cat ain't sleep yet. Out of in a wind. Just uh, knocked the boat out single for lock 13. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Be long. Ago. It's really nice out. 
you come to plant that weight on a couple of trains. The really, they're getting really looking beautiful. That's gonna look really pretty. Pretty, pretty. They touching up, doing some touch up paint. Really pretty day. We got a fast year on it. Really pretty day. Heading up to the lock. They're flat in a hundred. With the wind working three mile an hour to my benefit, everything's really just perfect conditions, so there's no excuse for not making a perfect lock. It's not a... It's like about a 400 foot from where he's at. It's not nothing special, it's just expected. You, if you have perfect, uh, foot and a half on the stern. If you have perfect conditions, there should be no reason at all why you can't make the lock perfectly. If not, then guess what? Be 25 years old. You're, you're learning something that day. Today I'm fixing to learn that I can make this lock perfectly with eight empties on perfect conditions. <laughs> better had, better had. There's no excuses for any errors today. It would be all operational errors. Uh, about a foot on the stern, so push on the head, grab and flip your bull nose. Uh, he's about 250 away. Scratch that 350. <clears throat> Start waving him, tell him, open them damn gates, man. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> I don't want to catch no line, it's going too pretty. Yeah, I know, she's laying there real nice. Oh, man. When the conditions are perfect, there ain't no excuse for operator error. Good, and we just keep creeping. I ain't worried about catching the line unless we get up there to him. 
Yeah, Roger, 250, you pull those. Right. What is he about 20 feet inside that flat, look like? Yeah, he's about, I think he's about 50 foot probably or so, maybe maybe a little bit more past your pull nose there. I'll ease up there, we'll go get, get inside the short. And if they ain't, we'll just catch those two far away for a second. Yeah, Roger. I hate to screw up a good thing. And, if I do too much setting back here, everything's gonna, you gotta carry a little bit of, I mean, I'm doing a half a mile an hour, but at least I'm moving. It keeps everything going, my momentum, if I get to stopping, if I go stopping, everything's gonna start doing that on me. Cause it's kinda, yeah, the way it is, it's gonna start. But as long as I'm just kinda poking like I'm doing, my stern won't widen out too wide and we can get up inside the short over there, which we gotta be, flat like that if we're not then we'll wedge so we gotta be you gotta be flat we got, we got five foot of five foot between well if we're touching this wall we got five foot over here and anyway but you want to have this stern flat against the wall when you go up in otherwise bad things happen speed kills around these locks but see right now it's just slowly i'm moving out it's kind of coming out slow, but nothing real bad. I mean, I'm going slow enough. <coughs> I was wanting to catch the, uh, not have to catch a pin, but we're going to have to probably, unless they can get them, get the gates open. We'll ease up, catch the line stuff in. Think six minute video. All right, that's good enough. Y'all got the idea. Lock made like that, and he said it was so pretty, he's going to be having to tell his grandkids about it. Oh, Chief, let's step out. <laughs> get away, get away. Look at the ones on the back are going to get shit on. Look at them, they're going to get shit on. Hey man, they tell you all the time if, if a bird shits on your head, it's supposed to be good luck. Oh, really? That's just what they fucking tell you, cause you don't got your head shit on. <laughs> That's not a good old sun lighting better. Pick up some of the, some of the greenery, but some of the those purple. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty. Had some of those lily pads and stuff back there, but you couldn't really see the purple cause of the lighting went right. Lighting's a little better here. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Really pretty area of the river up here. It just almost doesn't feel like a, you know, commercial traffic type running there. Fishing over there in the sun. Fishing over there. It's really pretty though. Beautiful area and a gorgeous day. Just not a hint of wind. Temperature's almost perfect out. It's just really nice. Really nice running, kind of neat, kind of neat. Narrow, shallow, but <laughs> but it's uh, it's not too bad. Good conditions. 